Okay, so today we are going to take a few different images and we're going to turn them into a glitch effect. Okay, we're going to use pixel, uh, pixel.com in order to achieve this and all of the images that I'm using today are stuck images that I've used from pexels.com. Okay, so starting with the image, uh, the first base image that I want to use, the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the image, uh, copy it and I'm going to paste it. Okay. Then I'm going to take that image and I'm going to go to Adjustments, Desaturate, which will make it black and white. Okay. Again, making sure I have this layer selected, I'm going to copy, paste that same layer again. Okay. Now, with this second copy of the layer, now I'm going to go to Adjustment at the top, go to Color and Balance, and I'm going to give it a really, really, really strong red offset. Okay. So it's going to make it look like it's just been pasted completely in a red tone. I'm going to go back down to this layer that we have here, go to Adjustments, go to Color Balance, and I'm going to pull the red offset the other way, which is going to give it a very overly blue tone. Okay. Um, now, the reason I want these two is because essentially whenever you see these glitch effects created, it's using this kind of red-blue offset um, contrasting against each other. So now I have these kind of ready for us to use. The next step is I'm going to take the red offset layer and I'm going to move it slightly. Okay, very, 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 very slightly. You can tell from the corner here it's not too far because I can just see a small bit of blue. And I'm going to alter the layer styles. Let's see which works best. I'm going to go to darken. Okay, and I'm going to drop the. No, I'm going to keep the opacity up. Okay, where it is. Okay, so now we have a really, really strong blue image. We have the images slightly apart from one another. And all that really remains for us to do at the minute is to start taking some of the pieces and moving them slightly to the side. So say for example, if I use the marquee selection tool, I'm going to draw quite a thin selection over the person's face and use the movement tool to just move it slightly to the right. And you can see that's where you start to get this idea of a glitch effect. Okay, so this is going to be what I work through next. I'm just going to select quite thin bars. I'm going to move my way from head to toe and I'm just going to even move them to the left or to the right, okay? Okay, after that there's only one more step, this is an optional step that you can include if you just want to make it look a little bit more <clears throat> like it's aged, like it's maybe a glitch effect from a VHS tape um, and that would be to open up an image which I put in the link below, uh, sorry in the description below it's kind of the, it's a landscape image that looks like a roof of maybe a car, park or something similar, but really what we want is just these lines. We want these lines and this kind of bright effect it's got. So I'm going to copy that image, I'm going to paste it over the top of the work that I've done, and I'm going to have a look through my layer styles. I'm going to go to overlay, see how that looks, that's looking pretty good. But if I drop the opacity down enough so that we can see the model still, but we get these lines running across and we get some of these strong bars running through it. It just makes it look a bit more effective. Okay, if you were to work your way back into this, if you wanted to play around with it a little bit more, you could alter some of the opacity, maybe drop the blue down a little bit more so you get some of the natural colors coming from underneath that bottom layer. But give it a go, see what you can come up with yourself, and good luck. 